Hi everyone, welcome to my updated Notion setup. For those of you who are not familiar with Notion, it is a freemium productivity and note-taking web app. It has a lot of organization tools, including test management, project tracking, to-do lists, and bookmarking, making it a wonderful tool for you to use, be it work, personal life, or school. In fact, I actually have a couple of tutorials showing you my setup for my planner that I use in my personal daily life as well as for school when I was a student. So if you're interested, feel free to check the cards or the description for links to those videos. However, my spheres of life have evolved a bit and therefore so have my productivity needs. So today we have an updated setup and huh? no, it does not look like a blank thing. We'll set it up together in this video. So for those who are newer to Notion, there are quite a few bells and whistles here as you can see. I would say the best way to learn how to use Notion is to really play around with it, but there are also helpful resources such as Reddit and other communities that you can rely on for tips and tricks. Particularly if you've been prowling on Reddit, you'll see that a lot of people have some pretty fancy spreads on Notion. I'm more of a minimalist. And this is the final look of the spread that we're going to set up today. If you like what you're seeing here, you can actually duplicate this template for free using the link up here on the screen. I'll also put it in the description for all of you. So even though my spread is pretty minimal, you may be wondering how I added those customizations. Well, I hate to break it to you, but I won't be showing you how I added each of these different elements here today. However, I can throw in a little widget tutorial using Indify. So that little battery looking progress bar is actually from Indify, which is an open source tool that you can use to get a bunch of awesome widgets for your Notion spread. As you can see here, there are plenty of options and more are coming soon. So let me show you how I added that progress bar. You can customize a name for it and also the different colors and format overall of this little widget before embedding it into your spread, like so. So now let's get back on track and allow me to walk you through my setup. So skipping over the embellishments on top that I said that I won't be talking about in this video, but if you're interested, maybe enough likes and comments on requesting that will motivate me to make a video. Anyways, the first step here to set up this planner is to use an inline database, and this is in the list view. Now within this database that you've just added, add pages for each month in the year. Now this next step is optional, uh, but you can use the properties feature here to add different tags, or in my case, I'm going to add a formula telling me what day it is automatically. So whenever I open up my planner, I know exactly what day it is rather than checking other, other parts of my computer or my mobile device. Now that we're set there, let's create the actual parts of the planner here. I am creating a today section using the toggle heading number one format. And I will do the same for a done section. Again, using the toggle heading one format. And I personally prefer all caps because I want this to scream at me, so I shall. Okay, now that that has been set up, let's actually turn this into a to-do list. You can use the command to-do list feature to add these checkbox items under today. And then under done, I'm going to set up toggle heading threes to represent each week. And this will essentially serve as a way to archive different tasks that I've completed by dragging them from the today section down into their respective week. So if you see my prior Notion setup, you may notice that in the prior setup, I had essentially to-do lists for each day of the month. However, now that my days are not so cleanly broken out and I honestly don't want to put that pressure on myself to complete X number of tasks every day, I find that this archiving system makes a lot more sense, again, as part of the current context in my life. So let me show you what I mean by all of that. So let's say I want to buy groceries and also do my laundry at some point this week or month. I can move around these tasks 
as I'd like them to be prioritized based on whatever comes up. And then when I do complete them, I can sort them away. This, I think, is a much more flexible way and a preferred mode of life for me right now. Okay, now let's add some beautification elements even though we're going for a minimalistic look. So I don't do anything too crazy, I usually just add an icon and sometimes a cover. For icons, I'm going to use one of Notion's icons today, however, I usually also add GIFs. You can check out my older Notion setup video for, for a tutorial on that, or if you want an updated one, you know what to do. Like and comment! And then there's one extra little thing I like to do, which is to add breadcrumbs and also a backlink to the prior month where applicable. That way I can easily jump to the next month if I need to move items around. Okay, now I repeat these steps for each of the months in the year. Have fun! This process may look very tedious, and yes, to some extent it is, but I would say that it's also very therapeutic and a way to reset in preparation for the new year. One hour later. I'm just kidding. It did actually take a full hour, but regardless, we have all 12 months ready to go. So that's the planner setup. However, you may have noticed that I have some other pages in this template as well, which I can show you very briefly. So I have a groceries page, which has a very similar setup to the planner, but it's just for groceries. Another one, which is a plan tracker, and this is actually a Notion template. So Notion has come very far and created a bunch of templates that anyone can use and adapt to their needs. So for the plan tracker, what I did was basically add a new page and when you do there's a blank page option right but then there's also templates down at the bottom here which you can click on to open up a wonderful menu of options these templates can be broken out into different categories including work projects personal and whatnot you can explore to your heart's content This is the plan tracker, which I can honestly see you adapting for other purposes as well. Anywho, that was my update Notion setup. It's still simple and aesthetic, hopefully in your eyes as well, and I hope that this video was informative and helpful to your productivity needs. If you haven't checked out my other Notion content already, please check out the cards in the description, and of course, if you'd like to see more, thumbs up on this video and comments are definitely welcome. Though I must say my main area of expertise are definitely K-dramas, so if you're into that as well, make sure you check out all the other wonderful K-drama related content on my channel. With that, I bid you farewell. Please make sure that you're subscribed by the way. Hint hint.